Joseph Olivares wants to know, will Cameron Yo start peaking and make a run at state? I don't know. Man. I'm starting to worry. I'm really starting I am. to worry. I am. I am, too. You have to worry, right? You have I, to worry. I mean, because here's the thing, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier last week, um, that they go and they lose to McGregor, right? They lose right. to McGregor. And love Judd Thrash, but that's a red flag. And McGregor is not, in my opinion, not as good as Rockdale. McGregor is not as good maybe as Franklin. Franklin is like, that game is suddenly like, hey, that's really interesting. Hey, you better win this game. Yeah. Because here's the thing. If you're 0-2 in district, with Rockdale still on the schedule, that might be church. Yeah. I hate to say must win in week six, but we're getting real close to it. I mean, if anything, just for morale, right? Let's get this thing turned around. Let's start feeling like Cameron Yo again. Yeah. Uh, they got to win a close game. Because Everyone it feels like every time they play a close game, they lose it. Everyone keeps pointing to their really bad start a few years ago and how they turned it around in one state, and that's true. And I think the talent is there. But whatever's been missing the last couple weeks, and granted, they have played a very tough schedule, but last week they that is a team that they should win in that district against. they got to figure it out. they got to start now. It, there's no like if, – if this week they don't put in an impressive result, if they don't start getting it turned around, it might be too late. It might be too late because you can't – you can only – like it's okay if you start off one and three – it's okay if you start off one and four, but if you yeah. start off zero and two in district with one really tough game still left on the schedule, that might be church. 